Here's some tips on how to handle ringworm and some skin issues. Number one, ringworm, I would not run to the doctor. You know, um, a, lot of, um, <clears throat> a lot of doctors might put you on the oral medicine, which is not really good to take. It's not good on your liver. Uh, most um, dermatologists won't even prescribe it unless it's in your hair follicles. But some do. I've been surprised over the, the past 10 or so years or 20 years. Um, just go to Walgreens or somewhere, CVS, some pharmacy, get Lotrimin Ultra. Have your kids, get a couple of tubes of it. Have your kids, ru kids rub it on the ringworm area four, five, six, seven times a day. Um, I would not wrap it. I would just keep the medicine on it. Unless it's in a place that's gonna keep getting rubbed off. Um, generally, you know, fungus and bacteria grows in uh, wet, dark areas. So uh, having a Band-Aid and wrapped is, is usually not necessary. Now, if you were in practice, I would probably wrap it. If it's on an arm or something, wear a long sleeve shirt. Generally, if it's on your face or something, cover it. Um, but it, you know, a lot of times if you cover it and it's on your face, the Band-Aid's gonna come off anyway. So generally I have our kids, as long as it's been treated for a day or so, I might come to practice. We're not too worried about it. Um, secondly, a lot of dermatologists have told me and um, a couple of pharmacists and doctors, they like Selsun Blue or some kind of dandruff shampoo. If you take one of those scrubby things and you have your kids after practice, use that to, for the full body. That's generally a pretty harsh, um, soap that's not antibacterial or antifungal um, I know that some doctors don't like using the antibacterial medicine uh, shampoo and soap because it can lead to more fungal issues because your skin has a natural bacterial barrier which is a very good thing uh, we do require it at our camps and if I was going to go to an expensive camp then you know for that week or whatever I would use the strongest soap possible but day in and day out I've had no less than six or seven um, doctors tell me that they think Selsun Blue or something of the like is a, is a good option to um, for showering after practice. Lastly, I would make sure that especially if you're going to a camp or you have a big tournament coming up, let your kids look for scrapes and scratches. See, that's the thing is people come to camp and they go, my son or my daughter got this issue. Some of them can be like in Pitaigo or even staff, right? from your camp, your camp is dirty. That's not true, right? The number one place to get staff is a hospital, right? So a lot of it has to do with the breaks in the skin. And you don't get breaks in the skin when you only wrestle um, three and a half months a year, or you only wrestle two weeks, two days a week. Um, even the high school kids, they'll get more of it because there's more, more combative interaction. You're more likely to get a rug burn, I mean a mat burn. Uh, someone's hair scratches you on the face. You get claw marks on your hands. You get mat burns on your elbows and knees. Those open wound areas. So when kids come to our, let's say our 28 day challenge, they're on the mat three days for 28 days. We, we line them up, we do skin checks. We have a lot of antibacterial salve, tubes of it. I mean, we spend thousands on this stuff just because we try to keep the kids, it's a preventive barrier, right? So if you're getting ready for the districts or something or your high school coach is nervous about it, do some skin checks and, and don't just look for infected areas, look for open wounds and, and cuts and have your kids take care of those cuts and keep those little spots treated and you'd be surprised at, uh, at the difference that it has made. Because I know it's tragic when your kids work so hard and then they end up with a little impetigo or something or a ringworm. Um, you know, I, I've had a, a couple of people at, at weigh in say, you know, technically a ringworm, you should be able to rub a little rubbing alcohol on it, put a little Lotrimin mo on it and let the kids wrestle the match. But they don't do that. So I'm not downplaying a ringworm, uh, but it's really not anything to go rushing off to the doctor about. And after one day of treating it, you're gonna find it will probably be dead. The only thing to watch out for is once it's treated and gone, keep treating it for about three or four days because sometimes like maybe in your hand, you have little hair follicles. Once it gets in the hair follicle, you know, it can be, it can be difficult, especially if it gets in your hair up here, right? In your scalp, that's when you might need to go to a doctor because it's very, very hard to get rid of. Uh, but even then, if, it's, if you catch it early, you might be able to play it by ear and, and keep it treated and whip it. 
but if it's been an issue, you might have to go. But if it's anywhere else, I wouldn't rush off to the doctor. Get some Lotrimin, put it on five or six times a day. Uh, you know, maybe set your cell phone alarm at work and take, give your kids a text to make sure they're keeping it on, uh, you know, every other class immediately after practice. And you'll find that ringworm is pretty hard, uh, pretty easy to kill. Um, but there's some insight on how to keep your skin clean and disinfected. Good luck to everyone. And uh, definitely look at getting some amazing camp soap if you go to wrestling camp uh, because you don't want to get sidelined there because... You know, it's, that's you get one camp a year, some of us, and that's hard-earned money that we're spending, and we don't want to be sidelined at those on those occasions. So, uh, but the other times of the year, sell some blue should be just fine, and probably is a little bit better for you. Good luck.